Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can install Zoom in your laptop. So let's begin. First, you have to open any browser and you have to search Zoom Installer. After that, you have to go to the second option which is Download for Windows Zoom. After you open it, Zoom will start downloading automatically. Then, you have to press here. After that, you have to wait for some time. Then, Zoom is downloaded. How you can create an account in your Zoom application. To sign up for your Zoom application, firstly open your Google search. Type in Zoom sign up and make a search. The search results will be displayed on the screen. Click on the sign up link. It will take you to the sign up page for Zoom. Enter your birth year and tap on continue. On the next page, enter your email address and click on continue. A verification code will be sent to your email address. Enter the verification code and tap on verify. To create your account, enter your full name as well as password. Confirm your password by re-entering it and then click on continue. This is how you can sign up for your Zoom account quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can log into your Zoom application. Now, to sign into your Zoom application, firstly open your Google search. Type in Zoom sign in and make a search. Tap on the sign in link displayed on the screen. You will arrive on the login page of Zoom application. Enter your email address as well as password associated with your Zoom account. Recheck your password by clicking on an eye icon at the right corner of the password box. If you have forgotten your password, click on Forgot Password. Now, after entering your email and password, click on Sign In. This is how you can sign in to your Zoom account quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can add picture on your Zoom application. Now, to add a picture in your Zoom, firstly open your Zoom application. Click on the More option at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap on your name and then on your profile photo. You can either take a photo or choose photo from your gallery. If you want to take a picture, click on Take Photo or else tap on Choose Photo. Allow Zoom to access your photos and media on your device by clicking on Allow button. Choose a photo from your gallery. Crop and adjust the picture if you want to and then click on tick mark at the top right corner of the screen. This is how you can add your picture in your Zoom application quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can add your background in Zoom application. Mm -hmm. Now, to add your background on Zoom, firstly open your Zoom application. Join or host your meeting. Turn on your mic as well as your video. Now. Click on the arrow icon on the right side of the video icon and tap on choose background. The list of background image will appear on the screen. Choose one of the background that you want to apply on your Zoom meeting. This is how you can add background on your Zoom meeting quickly and easily just in few steps. How to change your name on Zoom. For that, first of all, open up the app on your phone. After you open up the app, be sure that you're logged into your account. Then tap on the settings option which is on bottom right of your screen. Now on top there you'll see your name, tap on it. After that, select display name. Here you can see that you can change your first name, your last name and your display name. After you are done, tap on save which is on top right of your screen. This way you can change your name on Zoom. How to change your profile picture on Zoom? For that, first of all, open up the Zoom app on your phone. After you open up the app, be sure that you're logged into your account. Then tap on the settings option, which is on bottom right of your screen. There on top, you'll see your name, tap on it. Now select profile photo and then select if you want to take a photo or choose from gallery. For now, I'm going to select a photo from my gallery, select the photo, adjust it and then tap on OK. This way you can change your profile picture on Zoom.
also how you can delete your Zoom's profile picture. Now, to delete your Zoom's profile picture, firstly, open your Google search. Type in Zoom web portal and make a search. Click on the first link shown on the page. Enter your email address and password associated with your Zoom's account. After entering your email address and password associated with your Zoom account, click on Sign In. Scroll all the way down and click on your profile picture. To delete your profile picture, click on Delete. This is how you can delete your Zoom's profile picture quickly and easily just in few steps. So how you can delete your chat on Zoom application. Now, to delete chat on Zoom, firstly open your Zoom application and join a meeting. On the bottom of the page, you can see a lot of options to join audio, video, information about participants and so on. Tap on the chat option. There, you can see a message. To delete a chat, tap on the three dots and click on delete. Confirm deleting the chat by tapping on delete. This is how you can delete your chat on your Zoom application quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can deem your share screen video on Zoom. Now, to deem your share screen video, firstly open your Zoom application. Log in to your Zoom account if you have not logged in. It will take you to the home page of Zoom application. Click on more options on the bottom right corner of the screen. Scroll down and tap on accessibility. You can see the team screen share video option. Swipe the button to the right to turn it on. It will automatically deem the video when flashing videos, images or visual patterns are detected. This is how you can deem screen share video on Zoom quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can extend your Zoom meetings time. Now, to extend your Zoom meetings time, firstly open your Zoom application. You will arrive on the home page of Zoom. Click on schedule option on the top right side of the screen. Name your Zoom meeting. Enter your date and time of meeting and repeat it for every week or any of the other appropriate option. Turn on all the meeting options by sliding it to the right side and then tap on done. Your meeting has now been scheduled for 9 to 9.30. Now to extend your Zoom meeting, open your Zoom application once again and repeat the same process. Click on the schedule, name the meeting and enter the date. Now start the another meeting from 9.30 and end it to 10. Turn on all the meeting options and then click on done. This is how you can extend your Zoom meetings time quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can mute your Zoom meetings. Now to mute your Zoom meeting, firstly open your Zoom application. It will take you to the home page of Zoom application. Here you can either start a new meeting or join a meeting. After you enter in a Zoom meeting, to mute a Zoom meeting, click on Mute option shown on the bottom of the page. You can also stop your video by clicking on Stop video option. You can easily mute your Zoom meeting by clicking on Mute option. This is how you can mute your Zoom meetings quickly and easily just in few steps. How to share screen on Zoom. For that, first of all, open up Zoom app on your phone. After you open up your app, be sure that you're logged in to your account and you're already in a meeting. Then at the bottom of your screen, there you'll see the option of share. Tap on it. A pop-up menu will appear on your screen. Scroll down and there you'll see the option of screen. Tap on it. After you tap on it, you'll be able to share your screen. I hope this video works for you. How you can join your Zoom meeting. Watch the video till the end. To join your Zoom meeting, firstly open your Zoom application. Among the options listed, click on join a meeting. On the next page, enter your meeting ID. There are join options. If you don't want to connect to your audio and video, swipe the button to the left or else turn it on. Enter your meeting passcode and click on OK. This is how you can join your Zoom meeting quickly and easily just in few steps. How to rename yourself on Zoom. 
for that first of all open up your zoom app on your phone after you open up the app be sure that you're logged into your account and you are on a meeting after that at the bottom of the page there you'll see the option of participants tap on it now select on your profile and then a pop-up menu will appear on your screen there you'll see the option of rename tap on it then set a new screen name when you are done tap on ok this way you can rename yourself on zoom how you can mute and unmute participants on zoom for that first of all open up zoom app on your phone after you open up the app be sure that you're logged into your account and you have already hosted a meeting then at the bottom of your screen there you'll see the option of participants tap on it here you will see all the participants that are present in your meeting if you want to mute them individually tap on their name a pop-up menu will appear on your screen select mute and if you want to mute all of your participants at the bottom of your screen there you'll see the option of mute all tap on it after that select mute all this way you can mute your participants on zoom now to unmute tap on their name after that select ask to unmute now request to unmute message will be sent to the participant and in this way you can unmute participants on zoom how to host a meeting on zoom for that first of all open up your zoom app on your phone after you open up the app be sure that you're logged into your account then tap on new meeting which is on your left hand side now select if you want your video to be turned off or turned on and select if you want to use your personal meeting id when you are done tap on start a meeting after that tap on participants which is at the bottom of your screen on your bottom left there you'll see the option of invite tap on it then select whether you want to invite your friend through message, messenger, gmail, invite your zoom contacts or by sending invite link. For now, I'm going to show you how to invite through messenger. Now tap on send in order to send invite link. After that, go back to your zoom app and wait for the participant to join. After the participants joins the meeting, a pop-up message will appear on your screen. Tap on admit in order to let them in in your meeting. This way you can host a meeting on Zoom. How you can sign out of your Zoom application. Now to sign out of your Zoom application, firstly open your Zoom application. Click on more option at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap on your name. On your profiles page, scroll all the way down and click on sign out option. Confirm signing out by clicking on yes. It will automatically log you out of your Zoom application. This is how you can sign out of your Zoom application quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can deactivate your Zoom account. Now to deactivate your Zoom account, firstly open a Google search. Type in how to deactivate and zoom account and make a search. Click on the first link shown on the page. Scroll all the way down to how to terminate your account section and tap on zoom web portal. Scroll down and click on terminate my account. On the next page, enter your password to deactivate your account and click on continue. This is how you can deactivate your Zoom account quickly and easily just in few steps. How you can delete your Zoom account. Now, to delete your Zoom account, firstly open your Google search. Type in deleting Zoom account and make a search. Click on the first link shown on the page. Scroll all the way down to how to terminate your account section and tap on Zoom web portal. Scroll down and click on terminate my account. On the next page, enter your password to delete your account and click on continue. This is how you can delete your Zoom account quickly and easily just in few steps. If you have any thoughts or queries, let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.